I've been placing concrete powder all the live long day. Oh. Hey guys. How's it going? <laughs> I'm just making some concrete. <laughs> oh, that's all I'm doing. Let's make one. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Let's make one more batch here. And I'll show you some upgrades to the, the concrete farm. Oh, we got that side done. Let's go to this side. Concrete, concrete, concrete. I've been at this for days and days and days. Maybe that's a little bit of an exaggeration. Oh, I get some more. It didn't get full. Almost there. I feel it. Yep, there it is. Okay. So Vic has come over here and helped me out with my little redstone problem because um, earlier you probably saw me like breaking these blocks to reset these pistons. Well, Vic um, figured out how to make this a little easier. So we push our concrete in. We're going to blast it. And it's going to fall and go kabooey. Kabooey. And he had a lever here, but I'll just put a button so I don't have to press the lever twice. And there we go. That resets our pistons and we can start going again. So awesome. I appreciate that, Vic. So I'm sure we've got a little IOU from him. Um, let's sleep. And I'll go show you how much concrete we've <laughs> we've been blasting. It's, it's quite a bit. All right. Let's put my bed back. Let's put this back. All right. Easiest way out of here now is, I guess, around here. All right, we'll float down here or fall down here. Either way. All right, so I went ahead and made 16 shulker boxes, one for each color. And I'm not going to open up all these, but most of them have between uh, 18 to... No, between 16 and 18 stacks worth, roughly. See, this one's got 18, 18, 17. Yeah, well, the gray, well, we need tons of gray for this building over here. So we've got tons more gray. The problem um, that I'm having now is now that I've made all this concrete, I could make a lot more. A lot Concrete is not the issue. Sand and gravel, not really the issue. It's the dyes, especially this color. Um, yeah, running low on blue, and blue is required to make light blue. Blue is required to make cyan. Blue is made to make purple. So blue is the one that's holding us up on all these dyes because we got. Uh oh, I didn't mean to do that. Go back. Oh well, it's fine. Uh, all the other colors we're pretty good on. So blue is the hold up. So we're going to fix that a little bit later. Or we're going to put a little band-aid on the situation, I guess. And uh, But first, we need to go take all those shulker boxes and take them to the shop. We're going to name the shop. And we're going to be open for business. So let's head on over to the shopping district. And put our supplies on the truck. I've decided to get rid of the barrels and just put the actual shulker boxes up there so you can immediately know what color you're going to be grabbing. And I've also come up with a name for the truck company. CT Transport. Stands for Country Arrow and Two Punch. Transportation. So let's do the other side as well. CT Transport. There's probably some better names. If you've got some better names, I'd love to hear your suggestions. We might change it, but that's what I come up with. Um, now, the price. This has taken me some time to think about what to price these. And I've come up with two diamonds per stack. I figured one diamond for the materials, the sand, the gravel, the dye, and the other diamond for actually turning it into the hardened concrete. So that's what I'm going with. So let me put these in, I'll, let's see. I'll be taking a lot of that gray back home, so we'll do that last. So let me get these in here. 
Before we head home, let's go check our mailbox. Haven't been here in a little while. I got mail. Ooh, five diamonds. Thanks for your face. Oh, this is from a uh, snow chicken from letting her murder me ten times in a row. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, she said she was gonna. Um, hey, give me that sound back. Yeah, she said that I was gonna be rewarded. I just didn't know with what. She gave me diamonds. So that's nice. All right, let's go back to my base, and we're gonna start putting the band-aid on this blue dye. Oh, I've just spotted a wandering trader. What do you have? Zombie Cleo, gold ore, observers, lapis, sea lanterns, fire coral. Um, which one of these blocks do I want? I'll get some more zombie Cleo heads. Um, what else? Maybe we'll get some uh, gold ore and observer. Alright, I had to run grab the materials for the, those blocks. Let's see if he's still there. There you are. Woo! Hello. Can I have these? Thank you. And. Thank you. And the observer. Thank you. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye. See you later. Have a nice day. Thank you. <laughs> cool. We got some more heads to add to the pile. Alright, you probably saw this behind me, but I made a little flower farm. Um, Let's see, do I have anything in this chest? Alright, so we are getting poppies and dandelions, but I'll also show you the other colors that we're getting. And right, so I need to find the... One, two, three... Should be, yep, right here, and then skip three. All right, here's the other. All right, so let's refill these. Uh, with bone mail. Bam and bam. Oh, I need to do this first. And bone mill. I hate not having enough inventory space. Okay. Place that back. Place that back. And we'll come over here and turn it on. And you'll probably see the colors that we'll be getting. There's the corn flowers. That'll give us blue. And the Azor bluets will give us light gray. And we're also getting, let's see if we can see the other flower. Is that it there? Did we just get it? Let's see. Yep, yeah, the outside daisy. This will also give us light gray. So we're getting red, yellow, light gray, light gray, and blue from this farm. And technically you could say orange because you take mix these two together. And you get orange. And I guess technically this would make purple because red and blue make purple. Yeah. However you want to see it. But basically we're getting uh, one, two, four, four different colors from this. So that's, that's pretty good. I, I, took, I took a little time bone milling this area trying to find the sweet spot to get as many flowers as possible. Mainly to get those corn flowers. So that, that solves the problem of getting just getting blue dye. I know I could use lapis, but that's that's expensive blue dye. When this just costs a little bit of bone meal. So we're also gonna make one of these over at the swamp between me and uh Joe Mama's place. I asked him, I said, if I built a flower farm in the swamp next to your area, would you use it? And he said, yeah. So I'm going to gather some materials, and I'm going to fly over to the swamp, and we're going to make the same as that flower farm over there. So let me get some things together. And I'll probably be building quite a bit of this on camera. But we'll see. All right, I found a nice little spot over here at the swamp. 
I've got Country Cam up there in the sky. Let's see if I can look at him. Yeah, right, right about there. Yep, yeah, there he is. Right, right over there. And uh, let's build this fire farm. Let's put on some music. Let's go. I'm hoping that time lapse come out okay. I'm not used to using a different account for recording. Um, I just got that camera account over the weekend, so I'm hoping it turned out good. But anyway, we got this thing built. Um, so let's put the bone mill in here and give it a test run. Make sure I got all the redstone down below. I'll put that back. And I installed two double chests over here to store everything. So let's uh, cross our fingers and make sure I've got all the redstone in here correctly, which I think I do because I saw the water going back and forth. So let's see if we get flowers. There we go. That should be going into the hoppers. Oh yeah, so we're just going to be getting just uh, blue orchids and seeds from this farm. That should be the only two things we get. Should, looks like it's going to fill whatever chest it wants first. Oh well. I might, uh, I might rearrange that, but right now it works. Ooh, we got we to get to sleep. So we'll let that run. Oh, I meant. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We gotta sleep. It's scary in the swamp. There we go. That's how you sleep. Oh, snow chicken said morning, and I missed it. I must have been in the process of building. So let's let's say morning snow. All right, so we're getting pretty good. Oh yeah, it's, we're getting tons of blue orchids. Let's take those out. Oh yeah, this is producing really nice. So now we've got the light blue taken care of. So that is nice. So let's turn that off. I'll probably come over here and AFK at this farm for a while and get just get tons and tons of light blue. But I got to clean up my chest monsters because they have grown. And uh, I'll let Joe know whereabouts this uh, flower farm is so he can come over here and use it if he wants. And uh, we're going to head back over to the AFK zone. And I've got something pretty pretty fun to end the episode with, I think. I've almost got 13 stacks of gray concrete. 
and this wall right here and this wall is going to have windows but this one and the very back wall are going to be solid um, well not this one because this one's going to meet within this building so this side's going to be a little funky but I'm going to start filling in the back here let's see how far 13 stacks <laughs> of concrete goes I'm going to guess probably not even probably not even half I'm probably going to be way off but let's find out Well, you could have fooled me. I didn't think 13 stacks would get me that far, but it did pretty good. So I'd probably between four and five more stacks of concrete to finish off the back wall. And then there's, I don't know how many stacks left to do the, the front and the two sides and the roof and all that. Uh, still got a lot of concrete to pour into this building. Um, but something I just realized is we've got one, two, three, four, five beacons over here. And I haven't placed a single one of them. Two Punch um, has placed all these beacons. Now I've helped him gather Wither Skulls. And I was the one that brought the first beacon over here. That Emerald Tower over there. That one's actually my beacon that I, that I first brought over here. But I haven't actually placed the beacon to give me the achievement. So we're going to do that right now. We're going to get the achievement that I haven't got yet. And that should power on. Oh, there's that achievement. Nice. And then we're just going to power it back on. With haste. Haste to. Done. There we go. <laughs> I just noticed that the other day as I was flying around here. I was like, wait a minute. I don't have the <laughs> beacon achievement yet. So I wanted to hurry up and get that done. Um, let's see how many achievements I got left anyway. Um... We gotta do some crossbow stuff and get this. Uh, I gotta get a trident and get those. I have all the end achievements. Nether. Uh, gotta travel. Rescue a guest. And the impossible furious cocktail. Uh, so I still got several achievements here to work on. I've only got one left on this one and that's just a deflect an arrow. I think we're going to do that at the beginning of the next episode just to knock that one out. <laughs> Alright, that's going to do it for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked it. Um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. And if you liked it, hit the like button. Anyway, I had a fun time. Hope you did as well. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. I'm not going to die this time. I'm not going to fly. <laughs>